Hello everyone and welcome to our episode of Wilson TV. Today we're going to dive deep into the emotional lives of Wilson dolphins. It is no secret that they are really intelligent, but just how emotionally intelligent are they and do they have feelings just like us? When we ask the question, if we ask if dolphins have feelings, first of all, we have to know how do we study feelings in other animals. Feelings are very subjective, so it is a bit tricky, and we have to be careful not to project human thoughts and emotions into an animal, because after all, they are not human, so we cannot expect them to think like we do. If we do, we risk coming to conclusions that are not scientifically based. One thing that we can look at is the behavior of whales and dolphins. We do know a lot of species live in complex social structures and have a wide range of behaviors that could indicate a rich emotional life. One of those behaviors is the observation of grief. For example, in 2018, on the west coast of North America, we could observe a killer whale mother carrying her dead baby for 17 days. And although this extended period of time is a unique observation, it is not the first time scientists have observed cetaceans carrying their dead babies for hours or even days. A study published in 2016 compiled observation of different species of cetaceans carrying their dead calves, which included rhesus dolphins, Indo-Pacific bottomless dolphins, spinner dolphins, pilot whales, Australian humpback dolphins, and sperm whales in different regions of the world. The scientists also noted that this behavior has previously been observed in bottomless dolphins, belugas franciscana, and humpback whales. Although it is hard to know for sure what this behavior means, the scientists suspect that caring for the dead baby, which seems to have very little benefit to the adult, could come from having emotional difficulties accepting the loss of their young. We could also look at the brains of whales and dolphins to see what is, what is going on in there. Their brains are some of the largest in the animal kingdom and are known to have very complex structures. When scientists studied the brains of whales and dolphins, they found a very special kind of brain cell called von Economal neurons or spinal cells. They are also found in elephants, primates and even humans. And the scientists think that these cells are connected to complex cognitive functions such as intuition and emotion. And the fact that these cells are present in whales and dolphins tells us that they have this capacity for a rich emotional life. But until we learn to speak whale well and we can ask them to what extent they experience feelings and emotions will remain a mystery. Thank you for watching this episode of Wilson TV. If you enjoyed, subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.